Okay, Bill, so you were telling me during the commercial break something interesting about slip and falls. And you know what? We've had so much wet weather. We've got storms right now. Right. Sometimes we get spray inside stores, mm -hmm. inside people's homes. Right. I know sometimes I have to put a towel under my That's door. Right. Right. You can come in, have a guest over. They can slip and fall. Or you can be running in and out of a grocery store right. or even a furniture store and slip. Yeah. What is the deal when that happens? Are they responsible in a situation like that? Yeah, and you know, the, the, the old standard answer is it depends um, and and Kelly's correct during this time of year when it when it's raining a lot and it's hot and it's humid and it's just you know it's just nasty outside well typically it's it, not only is it going to be nasty outside but those conditions can come inside especially within a few feet of the of, of, of the entrance of whatever place it is you're going and so it can be water it can be tracked in rainwater it can be water that it's Kelly mentioned blowing in or it can be just humidity uh, we've had a, a bunch of cases in the past where people will walk in and everything is, you're just slipping and sliding all over the place. There's a couple of businesses in particular, and I'll leave them na nameless, but every time we go in, my wife and I and daughter were actually talking about it this weekend, every time you go into this particular place, um, you're just slipping and sliding everywhere, and it's something to do with the, 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 the uh, type of material that their floors are made out of with the high humidity and things just, you know, get nasty. So what you have to look for when, whenever you have a fall, and, and not just about, you know, falling in, in rainwater, it can be any kind of condition. It could be oil on the floor, it could be grease, chicken blood, which we had that case one time <laughs> oh at, in, uh, uh, at, a, at a grocery store where chicken blood had come out of the <sighs> cooler. And so it can be anything, or it can be a broken step or whatever it is, but you see the graphic there. And, and, and when you see slip and fall, you can also put trip and fall on there as well. And businesses must have known about a dangerous uh, situation uh, or the owner did not knowingly correct a problem that could cause a fall. But, you know, and, and, and also it says not an automatic lawsuit. And I'll talk about that point. A lot of times people think if you fall on someone else's property that you automatically are going to recover. And that could not be further from the truth. Just because you fall on someone else's property, it doesn't mean diddly squat. Uh, you have to prove that the other side was negligent in some way, shape, or form. Either they knew about a condition and they didn't bother uh, uh, fixing that, that problem, whether it's water on the floor, whether it's a broken step, you know, what have you, or that condition had existed there long enough that you should have, they should have known that the problem was there and they didn't do anything to correct it.